Hi, my name is Dr. Catherine Martin for Ivy Family Health Updates. I'm here today with my brother, Dr. John Martin and Dr. Edward Martin. And our topic today is postmenopausal estrogen therapy. Is it safe or is it unsafe? And the bottom line is that yes, women should feel reassured that it's a very safe therapy. For the majority of women in their late 40s or in their 50s, estrogen is a great option for treating menopausal symptoms. Now the history of hormone therapy is that certainly over the past couple of decades, a lot of women in the United States were taking estrogen. It was a very popular intervention, mostly for hot flashes, but also to prevent chronic disease. It was used to prevent osteoporosis, but more commonly to prevent heart disease. We firmly believed for a number of reasons that estrogen would prevent heart disease in women. Now, that was tested then in a clinical trial known as the Women's Health Initiative, or the WHI. This was one of the largest clinical trials ever funded by the National Institutes of Health. It was scheduled to be completed in the year 2005, but it was stopped early in 2002. It was, the results actually were quite shocking, and I don't know if you remember, but it was really, there was absolute panic when this uh, was first published, because instead of seeing a reduction in the risk of coronary disease, which was was what everybody expected, they actually saw an increased risk of heart disease. Wasn't that an older population though? Well, actually, that, that's a great point, and that turned out to be the biggest limitation of the trial, because the typical woman who presents to her physician with hot flashes, seeking advice, is it okay for me to take estrogen, is a woman in her late 40s or early 50s. And it turned out the average age of women in the WHI it was about 65. So it really, the results of the WHI turned out to be not all that relevant to the average woman who needs to have a conversation about estrogen. And is that usually the presenting symptom for these women is the hot flashes? Is that what they're trying to treat? Well, that's the most common menopausal symptom. Right. right. Okay. And one other thing is, um, you know, I don't know too much about this, but you have your estrogen, you have your progesterone, so you do combining with it, these products, is it one product or the other, or does it make any difference? Well, it, it depends. It, it's driven by whether or not the woman has a uterus. So women who've had a hysterectomy take just estrogen. Women with an intact uterus have to take estrogen and a progesterone or progesterone-like medication, and that's to prevent uterine cancer. Okay. And then there are big differences in the types of estrogen or progesterone, synthetic versus natural. The type, the particular estrogens and progesterone used in the WHI, uh, it was Premarin and Provera, and th that choice of hormones has been criticized by some people that maybe some other estrogens or progesterones it would be safer, but there's no evidence to su suggest that's true. I think what's very reassuring is those investigators have gone back and they've um, published quite a bit of additional data that show if you separate out the women in that study by age, it turns out that women in their 50s in that study, they did not see any increased risk of heart disease. If anything, there was a slight suggestion that maybe there was a, a protective effect. Um, and women over 60, they did see that increased risk of heart disease. So I think everybody now agrees that be reassured, if you have moderate to severe hot flushes, and you're in your late 40s, early 50s, you should, Estrogen is absolutely safe. It's by far the most effective therapy. Uh, take it, we generally recommend it for the shortest duration possible, but that can be up to four or five years, and then you stop. So if you're not having hot flashes, would there be any reason to take any sort of hormone replacement? No, and so we no longer uh, believe in this notion of taking it long-term to prevent disease okay. based on what we learned in the WHI. Right. And how about the risk of dementia, Alzheimer's? That, that's an interesting point because we had thought, I mean, there is there still is an, uh, some lines of evidence to suggest that estrogen replacement lowers the risk of dementia in later life and that timing of exposure may be important. Early exposure lowers the risk, but we know from the WHI, if you first take it when you're in your mid-60s, it increases the risk. So, but I would certainly not recommend taking it to prevent the risk of dementia. All right, any other questions? No, that's, that's great, it's uh, in a nutshell. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much.